Hi everybody, you are watching Vitrodas. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I will show you how to design the banner in Adobe Illustrator. When it comes to the button design, the Adobe Illustrator is the go-to app because of the clarity that vector-based app can provide even in the largest sizes. But today we will be designing more like a web banner for the Christmas sale, Black Friday sale, Cyber Monday sale, something like this. So let's start with a new document. I'm working with the 1380 by 1080. I'm working on this canvas that is covered with the black rectangle just for you to see what is going on with the rest of my shapes. And first of all, we need to grab the star tool in Adobe Illustrator. In order to do this, head over to the a rectangle tool and hold left mouse button to bring up this menu and then grab the start tool and now hold the shift key to keep the proportions and then release the shift key when you're a shift key when you're ready and use the control to alter the diameter of your star as you can see when you use the control or command on your mac you can change the diameter and this is exactly what i need because i want to introduce more space here for the text after doing so, we need to swap fill and stroke and set the stroke to 10 points, as you can see. And then I want to grab this gradient and take a look on my gradient panel. By the way, if you don't find your gradient panel, go to the Windows gradient. Okay, so on the gradient panel, you will see the three dots uh, with these colors. You will see the colors on your screen. Okay, so when you're done with this, you need to select the simple line of gradient and then apply the gradient along the stroke right there. So select this option in the middle. Okay, once we've done this star, we need to drag the bullets on top with the direct selection tool. So switch to the direct selection tool or click A on your keyboard. You can also use this corner radius here. You can just type 12 here or just use these sliders. So 12 points is okay for me. I totally fine with it. And uh, we need to duplicate it. Ctrl C, Ctrl F to make a duplicate. So now we need to create uh, all of these glowing stars around. And we'll be using two tools, uh, symbol tool and brushes. Okay, so uh, as for the symbol sprayer tool, first we need to design, to so grab the ellipse tool, create a circle with the shift key. Then swap fill and stroke and set the uh, fill to the flat color. Okay. Now we need to throw it on the, our symbols panel. So let me undock the symbol panel and let me throw it on the symbol panel. Here you can call it whatever you like and click OK. Uh, let me delete this symbol. Now go to the symbol sprayer tool or use the shift S. And I want to spray some symbols here. Uh, mostly in two rows, as you can see. And then go to the symbol size tool to change the size of my symbols. If you don't find your symbol size tool, you'll find them under this ellipsis menu. Just navigate and find your symbol size tool, okay? It will be directly underneath your symbol sprayer tool. When you get a symbol size tool, it is easy to use. Hold the Alt key if you want to reduce the size of your symbol. Use it plain if you want to increase. A simple size tool allows me to get the random results very quickly. And this is exactly what we need for the brushes panel. So head over to the windows, then brushes. Find the brushes panel or click the F5. So this is my brushes panel and I want to throw whole design into it to add a new brush. So into this new brush dialog box, we need to set the pattern brush and here we need to change only one option. It is spacing. This is the space between two blocks of my circles. Uh, set it to 5% and click OK. Just like this. Now delete everything and let me select my duplicate and apply the brushes on my duplicate just like this now you see the messy design we need to head over to the stroke and 
decrease the stroke to around 0.25. Now that we have these lines and create another duplicate and also increase the stroke weight for this duplicate as well to 0.3. And finally, create another duplicate with Ctrl C, Ctrl F, and increase again the size to maybe like 0.4, just like this. Select all of them on my layers panel, all of these duplicates. Keep the original file unselected, okay? Head over to the object and expand appearance to introduce a lot of circles. And now we need to grab the airdropper tool and just pick up the colors here. So let me tell you what is inside this star gradient. This is a very simple gradient with the black tail. As you can see, the black is kind of like set apart from the other core gradients. It is radial. And then there are three colors here, very close to each other. One on the position of 12%. One of the position of 20% and another in the position of 25%. This is how it was initially set. Okay. And finally, we need to set under the transparency panel. If you don't find the transparency panel, go to the Windows transparency. Set it the blending mode to screen to render this black color under the gradient transparent color. Okay. This is the. Sorry, guys. Let me group everything. Okay, guys. Now let me show you another technique. If you want to add here and there some lights, you can grab again the symbol sprayer tool and put this and then go to the sizer tool, increase some of them, decrease some of them with holding alt key. And finally go to the symbol styler tool. But first we need to add graphic style. So let me undock this. The same scene. As you can see, with the screen transparency and with this gradient, I want to put it on my graphic style. As you can see, I put it on my, I threw it on my graphic style. Now I need to grab the graphics symbol styler tool. You, you will find it under this ellipsis. Let me show you how to use it. And you can go through all of these symbols to introduce gradually introduce this style. Amazing, right? Uh, once you've done this, let's create a uh, in stars, and it's very easy. Uh, we need to grab the ellipse again and draw the ellipse. Is as you can see, it's narrow. The, the height dominates the reads here with the same gradient. But right now, I want to grab the gradient tool and adjust the heights as well, so to match the heights of my shape and squeeze it narrow down uh, the gradient tool now that we have this scene i need to grab the rotate tool or click r on your keyboard head over to the center and holding the alt key we need to bring up the rotate dialog box set the angle to 45 degrees and click copy and then make a duplicate of this command uh, with ctrl d command d just like this now let's select everything and render the blending mode to the screen. Okay. Now that we have this shape, we can create a group, put it over there and probably I might resize it as well because it's too large right now. Okay. Now that we have, you know how to create all of these glowing uh, stars in Adobe Illustrator. Let me show you how to prepare the background and font. So. For the background, we should keep it simple. We need to grab the ellipse tool again and draw the ellipse. It's better to start with the uh, black and white and double click on the white uh, to bring up the color choices. Switch to the HCB mode and I want to pick up the color something around the yellowish color, which is, let me go to the RGB writer, uh, E9 A220. Okay, let's go to the type, select the type on the radial gradient. So let's make it radial and then uh, grab your gradient tool and squeeze a little bit your gradient, reducing it in size. Uh, finally, we need to reduce the opacity to around 60%, just like this. Grab your text 
uh, and type something, whatever you like, inside. Go with the bebas and make it white, just like this. And this is the end of our tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share this tutorial with your friends. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.